So our super simple farming game is coming along. We can plant seeds, we can water them. We can even go up and get a charge, which just makes the day go by, go to a next day, but it doesn't actually do anything. None of the crops grow. So let's figure out how to make these crops grow. Basically what we need to do is search for any tile that has water on it that we've watered because that's going to determine whether it grows or not. And so if we have a tile that's watered, then what we're gonna do is kind of do the opposite of what we did for the watering thing. We're going to switch the sprite to the one that is this many back. So it's like always going to kind of go to an angle like that. So 49 minus 34 is 15. So basically we're gonna take that sprite and minus it by 15. Okay, let's actually take this transition stuff and let's move this into the other tab because this can, this can all kind of live in the day cycle. Sure. Now, um, when we hit our action button here, let's make a function called grow, all right? And this one I'll make in a new tab, at least for now, grow. So function grow. And what are we gonna do? Well, we're going to search for any of these tiles that have what flag? Flag two. So what we can do is a for loop that's going to go through and check all of the tiles on the map. So uh, for, let's say TX for tile X equals zero comma 15 do. That's basically going to do whatever we put here 16 times total. And every time it's gonna kind of iterate this TX variable. So the first time it's gonna be zero, the second time it's gonna be one, then it's gonna be two and so on. Let's end that for loop. And we don't just want the X values, we also want the Y values for TY equals zero comma 15 do. Let's end for, all right. So this is going to go through all of the tiles from left to right, and it's gonna do that on all of the tiles from up to down. So it's basically gonna search all of the tiles on the screen. So it's gonna look at every tile. And what we wanna do is get the flag. So F get for our M get of tx comma ty. And so let's say uh, if f get dx ty is two, I believe is what it was. Yeah, flag two. Then make sure we put our other parentheses here and f get. Then we're going to do something to that tile. So let's say uh, m set. That's going to replace the sprite that's in that tile. And for now, let's just set it to 49. M set 49. Uh, we want t, t, x, comma, t, y, comma, 49. Save, run. So now when we go up here and we make the day go, oh, actually what that's gonna do, that's looking for anything that is wet and then we're gonna make it wet again. So let's actually make this 34, 34, save, run. Now, anything that's watered should be dry after this transition. Yes, good. Okay, so let's make this a little bit more dynamic. And what we're gonna do is just take that sprite minus 15. We're gonna do this kind of the same the same way. We're gonna set a local variable. So local SP equals m get x. All right, again, we can replace this with SP and we'll take this SP minus 15, just like we did in the last video. Oops. Okay, so we're getting an error that this is unclosed. That's just because we have a parenthesis missing. Okay, so now there we go. And if I water these, they should go to the next day. Boop. Yep. There we go, baby. So we're going to water all of these. All right. And these should turn into carrots. These should turn into bigger sprouts. Yes. It's so exciting. Let's grow all the carrots. Great. Now we have all carrots. Now let's see if we can harvest them. Let's just go ahead and do that. Let's just go back to our action button here. And let's see which flag is this. This is flag three. So we're going to do a similar thing here. Else if this is flag three, then what we're going to do is we're going to replace this with a tile that is harvested carrot kind of tile. There's kind of a hole. Sure. There we go. And so when we harvest that carrot, we're going to switch it with sprite 52 and we'll just hard code that, I guess. So we'll just say 52. And then we're also going to add a carrot to our inventory, which we don't really quite have an inventory, but we have our stats here. So let's just make that in our player, I guess. Let's just say, uh, maybe we'll make a new tab called um, money and harvesting. Sure. We'll just make a function called harvest. Sure. And we'll say uh, carrots plus equals one. When we harvest a carrot, we need to set our initial carrots. So uh, I crops. Sure. Just set our carrots equals zero. Great. And let's actually do our seeds here too. Seeds equals zero because we'll eventually need those. So our harvest is just adding a carrot like that. 
make sure we initialize our crops here. Let's just put this here. So when we harvest, we're gonna add one to our carrots. So when we do this, we're gonna harvest like that. Okay, so if we are over a carrot, that's going to switch that sprite. That's good, and it should also call harvest. Now we need to actually see the amount of carrots that we have here. So let's again just print this real quick in the draw thing, print carrots. And that's gonna be at five times eight, which would be 40, 40 comma 122. I think that'll work. We're gonna make the color 10, save run. So there we go, we have our carrots here. And as I pick one up, there we go, it adds it to our carrots down below. Great, good. Okay, I also want to add that same flag as our planted ground here. So we'll just add that same flag so that we can plant seeds on that one. Save run. So we can plant seeds, we can harvest our carrot and replant seeds. So we're grabbing carrots, yes, good. And now we can water all these carrots. Look at this, watering so many. Go up here, charge, it's a new day. We have carrots already. Let's just plant some more and we'll make sure to water. Let's make sure everything's working. There we go, there's a carrot. This is working beautifully. So only the tiles that get watered grow. It's beautiful, I love it. Okay, the only thing I wanna do is, those plants are a little bit hard to read. Uh, so maybe we'll just make them dark green for now. Let's just see how that goes. That might be a little better. Yeah, okay, cool. So we have the general growth kind of thing happening and we can harvest and we can replant. We have our time going. This is looking pretty good. Next time we're gonna get into the battery and kind of the life of our player. That's all for today. By the way, if you're new to Pico 8, we have a free Pico 8 Essentials Workshop available right here. And if you wanna watch all the videos in this series, there's a playlist right here. See you next time.